Hey, Leslie, you know, uh, it was a sickening image to many who saw it. Uh, that guy walking through the U.S. Capitol, the seat of our democracy, carrying a Confederate flag. But now he is one of a list of people now behind bars facing new federal charges. The FBI says the man strutting through the Capitol Rotunda waving the Confederate flag is Kevin Seafried. In charging documents filed Thursday, prosecutors allege Seafried and his son Hunter entered the U.S. Capitol through a broken window. The FBI had featured the photo on its most wanted posters before taking the father and son into custody in their home state of Delaware. In neighboring Pennsylvania, the FBI making another arrest Thursday. This one, retired firefighter Robert Sanford. CFD on his knit cap standing for the Chester, Pennsylvania Fire Department right outside Philly. Sanford is allegedly seen in footage taken from overhead during the riots, later posted to YouTube. This is a screenshot included in the prosecution's charging documents. The FBI says that's Sanford in the circle holding a red fire extinguisher, which he allegedly threw at that group of Capitol Police officers huddled together trying to fend off the angry mob. Investigators say three officers were hit in the head by the fire extinguisher before Sanford, quote, moves quickly in the opposite direction. The officers hit by the fire extinguisher were examined and cleared of any injuries, and this incident is apparently not connected to the fire extinguisher that hit Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who would later die from injuries suffered during the riots. Federal prosecutors also announcing the arrest of two police officers from Rocky Mount, Virginia. The FBI says Jacob Fracker and Thomas Robertson were off duty when they stormed the Capitol, allegedly taking this selfie of themselves, making an obscene gesture in front of the John Stark statue. Now all these guys are facing federal felony charges, mostly for disorderly conduct and unlawful entry. That retired firefighter, though, facing federal felony charges for assaulting a police officer as well. Reporting live downtown tonight, Eric Fleck, WUSA 9. And Eric, it's amazing how many people are tweeting at us pictures of these folks saying, look at this, look at that, look at this. All it takes is one tip to hopefully break through. All right, Eric, thank you.